Hey there lovelies, it is May and we are back with Alone in the Dark. Today we're going to be finishing out the game with Emily's chapter 5, so let's get going. Okay, we already watched this. I want to get out there, talk to people. Figure out what all these lights are for and what the heck is going on. Jeremy, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, we gave Jeremy a lobotomy. I'm ready. Let's chat with him. I'll be back soon, Jeremy. Then we'll go back to the city. How fun. I do like riding in the motor car. Gosh, I am so sorry, Jeremy. What about you? Oh, wait, there's more optional. Okay. Is there any chance he'll relapse back to his previous condition? None at all. He is forever cured from all worries and other difficult feelings. I feel like cured is a strong word. I don't like it. Have you seen Detective Cornby? I'm sure he's around here somewhere, poking and prodding. As he should be. I mean, there's some sketchy stuff going on, is there not? Oh, Rose. Hey, girl. Oh, you have a creepy mask. Well done, Miss Hartwood. You officially made Dorsetto the dullest place in existence again. Oh, thank you. Happy to be of service. Something tells me we're not friends anymore. Have you seen Detective Carnby anywhere? <laughs> Still chasing that lovable palooka around, are you? I'm sure you'll find him. Oh, when and where, though? Can I write to you when I get back to town? <laughs> you are too sweet, Miss Hartwood. I'll look forward to reading all about your tedious routine. Yeah, okay. I think we do like her, like genuinely friends. Ooh, what you got in the pot, ma'am? Good to see you're still with us, miss. Are you hungry? No, thank you. I'm still a bit woozy. Okay, that's fair. But what's it? What is it? Ooh, is that gumbo? I make it every year. We set up a little feast by the wishing tree and start a new year together. Oh, is that why there's a party? Is it New Year's? Have you seen Mr. Carnby? I haven't seen him for a while. Maybe he left. Nah, he wouldn't leave without me. I'm paying him the big bucks, don't you know? Okay, that's probably important because it doesn't have the little thing. I want to exhaust my dialogues. Hey, Grace. What are you doing? Preparing for the ceremony. This time she will come. I'm sure of it. Okay. Who's coming, Grace? The black goat of the woods, the mother of a thousand young. That's not concerning I hope you at find all. What you're looking for, Grace. Whatever it is that you need. That's a terrible thing to say. Why? Why is that a terrible thing to say? Okay, let's talk to the town drunk, shall we? Do you know what's about to happen here? Just a little ceremony we do each year on the eve of St. John. We raise our glasses to the old wishing tree here and ask for a better year. I mean, that sounds innocent enough. Is it all for show? Or do you actually believe the tree can help? Well, I guess some of us do. I mean, Lottie and Mags are pretty invested. Taking it a little too far, you know. I guess. Have you seen Detective? I assume Sounds that's what she's like asking. you might be in a cult. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I can see how you think that. Well, are you? I almost forgot this was here. The very heart of Deceto, you know. Almost time to call on her. What is it that you do? Is it like the voodoo rituals you read about in the papers? I don't know, miss. I never saw one up close. 
My family has always been suspicious of the hoodoo. Okay, then what are you trying to do? You haven't seen Detective Carnby, have you? No. And I hope he stays away. I don't think he would understand what is about to happen here. But what is about to happen here? Am I even gonna understand it? You got like a little kid being all weird over there. I didn't see- oh, there's Baptiste. I was gonna say, I wanna finish talking to everyone. Because I'm, ass I'm assuming like this is a no coming. point to not- Radio says it could get real bad. Not that we've ever Flood been able to such. return, but... It feels more final, you know? Being chapter five and all. Well, I should probably get moving before the weather gets worse. Have you seen Detective Carnby? Not for a while. But he says he's going to wait for you. Okay, well. That's reassuring, at least. Take care, Batiste. You too, Miss Emily. Will do. Alright. I'm going to interact with this, I guess. Oh, okay, yeah. So it was definitely more... Everyone knows Official. what to do. Y'all know the new words. Mrs. Thompson, we talked about this. I'm not sure everyone is comfortable. Doctor, I insist. This is important. We've waited for so long, Doctor. Let's just go with the old song. Not every change is an improvement. Boss, good or bad, we need to move forward. All in, Doc. Let's bet it all. But we don't know what we're dealing with. It'll be okay, Doctor. Even. Okay, creepy little girl, you've won me over. You can see that he's outnumbered. He's like, ah, oh, fine. Fine. Hell, oh, there are praises in abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, brother. Take pity on us. Take pity on us. Could you not have waited till we left? What are you doing? This is madness! This heals what he's doing. She's just a child! Get out, Emily! We're leaving! This is There has to be a number one! No! Oh, well, there's your sacrifice. It's eating everything, so like I feel sacrifice was unnecessary. Jesus. Run away from the tree, guys? What? <laughs> oh yes. Oh god, the carnage. You have to stop that thing. It's gonna kill everything in its way. Well, oh, that doesn't sound like a me problem. <laughs> Sounds like a get in my car and go problem. I don't mean so. Uh, like that way. Oh, be on the tiny slope. My bad. My bad. Ooh, is that Healy juice? Let me just pick up my whiskey real quick. I don't know if 
being up here in the middle of a storm is very safe, but here we go. Yeah, I've got debris. I'm gonna fight the tree. That is horrible. Oh, it's so gross. Do I shoot the fish eggs? Ugh. Okay, yeah, it looks like we shoot the fish eggs. Oh, I see, there's some more on that side. Oh. Hey, still, what'd you miss? This mother to a thousand young. I even need like a big gun. I feel like I could pop these without it. Now, this is not something that I think. Like, cool. A story for the ages, I guess. Yeah, I went to this weird place to save my uncle and ended up fighting a freaking cousin to the beholder. Too? Oh, look at its leggies. Oh, I can throw stuff at it? Eh. Burn, baby, burn. I just lay into it. Oh, there's other monsters. Oh, shit. That's what the debris is for. And not the shellfish. No, 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 no. Oop. Dying restarts the entire fight from up on the roof. And it's non-skippable cutscenes. The faster we get this over with, the better. Oh, and I think my goal for down there is to just... Try to make sure that we're loaded up up here before we fall down. Carnby has um, my uncle. I'm sure he's got some good shooting skills. He can help me build this thing. Okay, we're down. Good, good. A weird. Oh, crap. Oh, those aren't throwables. No wonder I was having so much issue. That flare gun ammo, too. Not the only the pistol bullets being what I get. 
Okay. There's a spud. There's a spud. There's a spud. Alright, it's all over your legs too, but you don't stay still. How am I supposed to shoot them? if it's even coming off the legs, to be honest. Because it definitely disappears off the body if you shoot it, but... Maybe I just need something else, like machine gun action. Yeah, there we go. Up, Emily. All right, I gotta. I think I, my play here is to try to use as much of the. God damn. I was gonna say the melee weapons as possible, but these big ones, you can't really melee. ones I can. But even so, only so much, you know? Candlestick weapon. God, these are awful. It broke. No. Dodge. Dodge more. Dodge out of the wall. Come on, where's Detective Carnby with my 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 backup? Come on, load. Got the legs. I wish I had a health bar or some sort of indication that, like, it's not just healing. Uh. Oh, okay. I don't need an indication. The house fell on it. Try with a lot of dodging and weaving. Not bad, not bad. <sighs> That's rough though. Emily, are you alright? No. I don't understand anything that just happened. What was that? The whole gang was a cult dedicated to something called the Black Goat of the Woods. I've been trying to gather as much information as I could. It was only after you started talking about monsters that I thought maybe there was some truth to all the nonsense I was finding. Where's Jeremy? Uncle, are you all right? Everything is out of order. This isn't the way the story goes. I shouldn't be alive. Don't say that. You made it out. Be happy, okay? Hey, kid. You doing all right? It wasn't what I expected, but you can't always get what you want. Okay. Something about the way Jeremy's talking makes me think this might not be all right, you ready the real ending. Come on, Jeremy. Let's go. Can I come? Well, we can't leave you here. 
You have to take her to Hell's Kitchen. What on earth are you talking about? Well, all right, team, that was a nice, short and sweet chapter for you guys. Had I realized that it was going to be kind of only a single boss fight, I probably would have tacked it on to the chapter four. But either way, it's a great rounding out to our story. The guy we came for survived and we didn't kill the kid. <laughs> Everyone else, though. Oops, you know. <laughs> Um, I look forward to playing this again as Edward and seeing if the detective can do anything a little bit differently. But until then, it's been Ismay. Thank you so much for hanging out for this series and I will see you all soon for more.